นโมดัสะบาวโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมบุตตะสะนโมดัสะบาวโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมบุตตะสะนโมดัสสะบาวโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมบุตตะสะจุดเดียวเอาละดูแชร์ the story of b a n a r a m e k i a okay And taken from a n g o t r a Nikaya n a w a k a n i p a d a and u d a n a p a l i b a n a r a m e k i a do you know b a n a r a m e k i a There's a no b a n a r a m e k i a m p a m c s e m d a so you don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe. t h a t i n was a o the Buddha. After the Buddha's enlightenment, okay. The Buddha was dwelling in Chalika Monastery in Chalika Mountain near Chalika City in India country, okay. At that time, p a n a r a m e k i a was the Buddha's attendant. During, you know, the the, the our Buddha has three body. The first body we call p a t a m a body. p a t a m a body twenty w a s a of the Buddha. After the Buddha's enlightenment, during the twenty w a s a Okay, up to 20 w a s a This is the b a t a m a body, the first body. Okay. Within 20 w a s a of the Buddha, the Buddha has no certain attendant. p a n a r a Ananda became the Buddha's attendant after 20 w a s a So during the 20 w a s a of the Buddha. There was no certain attendance. Sometimes, p a n a r a v e Naga Samala was the Buddha's attendant. Naga Samala. Sometimes, p a n a r a v e Nagita was the Buddha's attendant. Sometimes, p a n a r a v e s u n n a k a t a was the Buddha's attendant. Sometimes. p a n a r a v e Upawana was the Buddha's attendant. Sometimes p a n a r a v e m e k i a okay, p a n a r a v e m e k i a was the Buddha's attendant. So during the thirty w a s a of the Buddha, p a n a r a v e m e k i a was the Buddha's attendant. At that times, the Buddha stayed together with p a n a r a v e m e k i a In the Salika Monastery, in the Salika Mountain, near Salika City, Chalika City. Mm. One day, p a n a r a v e m e k i a went to the village Salika City, Salika maybe very big village for ants food. Okay, then when he went to The village for ants food. He also took permission from the Buddha. One day, I will have to go to Salika City for ants food. Okay, you can go to Salika City for ants food. Okay, the Buddha allow. Then after coming back from coming back from the Salika City, after his meal, then. He want to do walking meditation, or he want to walk here and there, for example here. What what kinds of bath here? After eating, we also went to the same gardens here, 
to walk, otherwise we will sleep. <laughs> also PMC, <laughs> PMC compared to our center, no? power center and Maymu and power center and Molamiai, a little bit narrow here. <laughs> no walk and path, okay? Then when we go to for example in power to our main center, our dining hall is a little bit far from Sima hall, meditation hall. After eating, when we go to Sima hall, then we, we finish our walk and meditation. <laughs> we don't need to purposely walk, okay? But PMC after eating, there's no walking path, that's why we need to walk. To, we need to go to uh, gardens to walk, okay? And, or seaside, something like this. In the same way, now Venerable Megiya taught permission from the Buddha to go to uh, Kimi, uh, the bank of Kimi Kala River. Okay, there's a one river. Names Kimi Kala. Kala Kimika. No? Kala Kimika River. Then he also took permission from the Buddha to go to the bank of Kimi Kala River. Or Kala Kimika River. Then the Buddha also allowed him to go to the bank of Kala Kimika River. Then he went to the bank of the shore of Kala Kimika River to walk. Okay? Then when he was going, going the near the bank of Kala Kimika River, then he saw one mango group, mango forest. Okay? As soon as he saw this mango garden, what happened? Oh, he had one idea. As soon as he saw this mango grove, he wanted to practice meditation in this mango garden. Okay? Then he decided, okay, I will, come, I will go to this mango forest to practice meditation. Then he went back to the monastery, then he informed the Buddha. Pande, when I was walking at the near the bank of the river, I saw one mango forest. As soon as I saw this mango grove, I wanted to practice meditation in this mango garden. Okay? So please permit me to go to this mango gardens to practice meditation. What happened? And the Buddha, as soon as he informed, the Buddha understand. The Buddha already checked whether his, you know, jnana, we call wisdom, or maybe with, uh, knowledge, whether his wisdom already mature or not, mature or not, okay? then his wisdom is not mature yet. That's why what happened, the Buddha prevented him not to go to the mango forest. Okay? How did, how did the Buddha prevent? Megiya, if you go to this mango forest, I will be here alone. So you should wait until another attendant comes here. Okay? Then the Buddha didn't get permission to go to Mango Forest. Then he, don't, he didn't stop his idea. Okay? Then second time, Pandas, please allow me to go to Mango Forest to practice meditation. I have seriously, I have the extremely uh, intention to practice meditation there. Oh. Then the Buddha also continued to prevent, prevent his hand not to go to the mango forest. Scam times, okay? Megiya, please wait until another attendant come here. If you go to the mango group, I will be here alone without any attendance. Okay? When the Buddha prevented, you know already. The Buddha already know. Then, Panerva Media didn't stop his idea. He, the third times, for the third times, he took permission from the Buddha again. 
Okay. Pandi, please allow me to go to Ambawana Mango Forest to practice meditation. I want, to, I want to go to this mango forest to practice meditation. Then what happened? The Buddha also, at that time, actually, the Buddha will never prevent. Why? First time, if it is not suitable, the Buddha will prevent. Second times, also, if there's a reason, the Buddha will never prevent, uh, will never allow them to go, okay? Then prevent it. For the third times, when he requested from the Buddha to go to Mingo Forest, the Buddha allowed him, okay? Why? He used one sentence. Nati Kenji Bhagavato Pande Nati Kenji Uttari Karaniya. What is the meaning? You had nothing to do, Father, because you became enlightenment. Okay, you have already done Arata Mega, you had nothing to do, Father. Oh, he used this word. Nati Katasa Pariseo. You have already abandoned all defilement. That's why you had nothing to do. Okay? Yeah, you have nothing to develop anything. Or you have, you have, uh, you don't need to do, you don't need to practice any meditation to abandon the defilements. Okay, he used this word. He used, Ati Kenji Udri Karaniya. I have to do, I have to practice to abandon the defilement, okay? I have, uh, I still have to do, I still have to practice meditation because I only have sila, I have a lot of defilements, okay? I still have defilement. That's why I still need to practice meditation. Without practicing meditation, it is impossible to remove the defilement, to destroy the defilement. Because of this reason, please allow me to go to the forest to practice meditation. Okay? Then he requested. Then after the third time of his request, then the Buddha allowed. Okay? The Buddha allowed me. Why the Buddha allowed? Do you know when the Buddha allowed him to go to the Mingo groups after that, his that, that request? Although he took permission from the Buddha for three times, if the Buddha didn't allow him, then he will accuse the Buddha. He will criticize the Buddha. The Buddha only is Buddha only sees for himself. He didn't see for the welfare of other or other uh, welfare of me. Okay? And he will criticize. If he criticize what will happen, we know, you know, Ariyu Bawada. Ariyu Bawada came at me accusing of noble persons or blame of noble persons. If someone accuse the noble person, if someone blame noble person, then he will commit very serious force, very serious offense. Okay? After committing this kinds of serious offense, if they don't apologize from this person, noble person, then sure, if he die, he will fall into full full state. It's every person. That's why during the Buddha times, you know, uh, for example, uh, don't use the saliva. When, why the Buddha lay down this rule? Uh, when the bhikkhu go to the village or city with the saliva, then many people criticize. Why they are using the saliva like uh, the lip persons, uh, which, which, uh, who are enjoying the sensual pleasure, or they criticize like this. Because of this reason, actually, maybe this is not serious force, serious offense, but the Buddha laid down 
Okay, all they could show no use that celeb in the city if they are healthy. <laughs> okay, why? He want to prevent others blame, others accusings. Because if they accuse, for example, Beku, who have sila, usually during the Buddha time, many noble persons. Okay, when they accuse this noble person, sure, there will be their akusala. Okay, they don't know, they will only just criticize. Then if they criticize, what will happen? Then without uh, making forgiveness, if they die, they will go to the hell. The Buddha see this reason. The Buddha see this kinds of things because of this reason. The Buddha laid down some winning rules. He also in the same way after the death request of Venerable Megia. The Buddha allowed, you know, if he did, the Buddha didn't allow, he will criticize. Just now I already explained, okay? Then, if you want to practice, now you want to go to the mango grove to practice meditation. If you use for the practice of meditation, I cannot prevent, you can go to the mango grove it's your wish, the Buddha allow, okay? Then when the Buddha allow, what happened? He went to the mango group, okay? He went to the mango group to practice, to practice meditation. Then, as soon as he reached the mango group, mango forest, he started to meditate under the mango tree. He started to meditate only as soon as he closed his eyes. Then what happened? His bhikkhu appearance disappeared. <laughs> what happened? He thought he became a king. He became a king. Okay? Why? Actually, he was a king in this area for 500 lives, okay, for 500 lives before. Because of this reason, when, as soon as he saw the mango grove, he wanted to go to this mango grove. When he was a king, he used to go to this mango forest to enjoy, okay, with the sensual pleasure. When he go to the mango grove, he was not alone. Together with many queens, many wives, okay? Because of this reason, as soon as he saw this mango grove, he wanted to go to this mango grove. But this time, he was a bhikkhu, that's why his intention is good intention. He want to practice meditation in this mango groove, okay? Then as soon as he closed his eyes, what happened? He became against his bhikkhu appearance despair. Then three kinds of evil thoughts appear frequently in him. What are three kinds of evil thoughts? You know, come at, uh, Karma Vitaka. The thoughts regarding sensual pleasure. Jabada Vitaka. The thoughts regarding evil. Vihinsa Vitaka. The thoughts regarding harm. Altogether, three kinds of thoughts appear. Then, when he tried to meditate, he thought he was again. He was sitting on the, you know, throne, the uh, slab stone, then under the white umbrella. Then there were also many queens nearby. <laughs> what they are doing? Some are uh, singing, some are dancing, 
Uh, he saw evidence. Okay? How many, how many wives do you know? Ken has many, more than maybe 500 wives. <laughs> okay, there must be a leader. Then as soon as he closed his eyes, actually he wanted to practice meditation, but he saw a lot of wives, ex-wives. <laughs> okay, then he, is, he was enjoying with the sensual pleasure. He was seeing their dancing. He was listening to their music, uh, you know, music, okay? Their music, etc. Then how can he practice meditation? Then another one. When he was enjoying with those sensual pleasure together with his former wives, then, you know, the police group comes, take him, uh, two thieves. One thief made a lot of uh, serious crime, serious crimes, okay? Serious offense. Because of this reason, he should be killed. Then he order, okay, please kill him. Please keep him because uh, he committed very serious offenses. Oh. This kind of thought is called Pyapada Viteka, the thoughts regarding evil, Dosa. Okay? Because of his Beku appearance already disappeared. Then he is ordering, okay, please keep him. <laughs> then another thief, he made uh, not so serious offenses. He committed small, maybe major. Uh, minor offenses. Because of this reason, he should put in the jail. He should be punished. Okay? Put in the jail or prisons. Then he asked his police to put in the jails. Okay? Please put them in the jail. Then they put in the jail. Oh, this kind of thought is not so serious. That's why we call the thoughts regarding Hame, we hate with the God. He wants to torture other people, but he, he will not kill. Okay? Then what happened? The whole setting finished. Now you only just finished meditation setting. Huh? Do you have any kinds of, uh, such kinds of thoughts? Kama with the God, regarding sensual pleasure, Yabada with the God, regarding. Uh, killing or evil, okay? Then we hands out with the God that those regarding hammings or torturings. These kinds of thoughts frequently appear in his mind, okay? Alternately appear in his mind. Then after that, he realized, he realized the boat that didn't allow me to come here because of this reason, okay? When the Buddha prevented us for two times, previously when he requests to go to this mango group, do you know? The Buddha know when he went to this mango forest to practice meditation, sure, he will not be able to practice meditation comfortably and peacefully. He will experience such kinds of difficulty. When he experienced this difficulty, then he will come back to the Buddha, okay? If the Buddha didn't uh, prevent, then maybe uh, his mind will not be stopped, okay? He will not be stopped. Then the Buddha prevented us for two times, then all oh, the Buddha have some pay ma, me, okay? The Buddha has some gentle mind to me, because of this reason, the Buddha prevented me. Now I realize. Because of this reason, if he had some difficulty in during meditation practice, then he will return to the Buddha. Okay? Because of this reason, the Buddha prevented, prevented for two times. Then, when he experienced such kinds of difficulty in meditation practice, then he went back to the Buddha. Then he also informed his difficulty, his experience. 
Okay? Then, when, someone, uh, when you are practicing meditation our, our meditation center, we also usually prevent it. One day, I want to go back to Singapore. <laughs> you should not go back to Singapore. You should continue to practice here. Why? When they come back to the Singapore, what will happen? <laughs> Okay, you realize, you understand, okay? <laughs> That's why we usually prevent this not to go back to their homes. Okay? Then you should practice meditation here, something like this, okay? There are many meditators who are practicing meditation. Mm. Then Venerable Megia went back to the Bodhas again. Then he also informed his situation. Then the Bodha. At the time, the Buddha uh, admonitions. Okay? What are they? These are we call Vimoti Paripachaniya. No? There are maybe 15 kinds of Vimoti Paripachaniya Dhamma. Among these 15 kinds of Vimoti Paripachaniya Dhamma, the Buddha talk about only five things for Venerable Megiya. What are uh, five? The five. When liberation of mind is not matured, not matured, then what shall you do? Then he shall have good friends, good companions. Number one, Kalyana Meta. The Buddha taught, Kalyana Meta, Kalyana Meta me, good friend, good companions. You should have good friend. You should associate with the good friend. If you have good friend, good companion, if you associate with the good friend, so when liberation of mind is not mature yet, then because of good friend, your liberation of mind will be mature. That's why, you know, last time when I gave the Dhamma talk here, do you remember? Full condition for realization of Nirvana or five necessary factors for the practice of meditation. That's, uh, you know, Kalyana Meta association with Kupasins. This is very important, okay? You should associate with Kopa sins. Then when you associate with Kopa sins, your liberation of mind from the defilement will be mature. Okay? That's why we call Cheto Vimokti. Cheto Vimokti means liberation of mind from the defilement. If you wish to liberate your mind from the defilement, you should associate with Kopa sins. This is one thing. This can uh, make the liberation of mind from the defilement. Okay? Cheto Vimokti. Then, number one. Number two. Another one. What is another one? Silawa. Okay? Yeah. Silawa Hoti Pati Mokha Samvara Sanghudor, number two. When liberation of mind not matured, okay? When the liberation of mind has not matured, then you should also try to fulfill your morality. Sila. Sila me here. Pati Mokha Samvara Sanghuto. Sila wa hoti Pati Mokha Samvara Sanghuto. For Lepasen, at least five precepts. Okay? You should try to maintain five precepts to be mature. The liberation of mind from the defilement, or to liberate your mind from the defilement. Okay? Five, five precepts 
Panchasila is necessary for all lay person. If you have already committed one of these five in the past, okay, please forget about it. Beginning from now, you should try to fulfill, you should try to maintain these five precepts, not to break. Then your liberation of mind will be mature. Okay? Then another one. Padimaukha Samvara Samuto for the bhikkhus. They should also try to maintain Padimaukha Samvara Sila. It lists 227 rules of the bhikkhus. Okay? Achara Gochara Sampano. Or they also should practice meditations when they go to the village for arms, when they come in back from the village. Okay? Anumate to which is to Bhayatasawi. They should also see a serious offense, although the offense is small. Okay? Anumate to which is to Bhayatasawi. Samadaya Sekati Sekabadesu, then they also maintain their respective sila not to break. Then if they can maintain their respective sila, there will be, okay, there will be one cause for the maturation of, uh, the liberation of mind from the defilement. Okay, maturation of the liberation of mind from the defilement. Cheto pripachaniya. Now, vimokti pripachaniya. Okay, number one, Kalyana Meta. Number two, Silawa. Okay, you must be virtuous. Number three. Number three. What is number three? Ya yang kata abisan lekika jeto wiwarana sabaya. You know, wiraga ikanda nebidaya. Vira gaya nirodaya upasamaya abhenyaya samodaya nipanaya samodati. There are some kinds of talk, you know. What kinds of talk? Not about the, you know, film, film or regarding the business. What are they? Nibi daya, when you can listen such kinds of talk, you will have dis disenchantment knowledge. Okay? Disenchanted knowledge. We ragaya, your mind will be free from defilement. Will be free from lust. Niro daya, your defilement will cease. Upasamaya, you will obtain the peace. Abhenyaya, samodaya, nipanaya, samodati, you will be able to realize nirvana easily. So such kind of so, so such kind of speech or talk are necessary to listen. What are they? Apecha kata. The talk regarding fewness or desire. Fewness or desire me we shall not have many desire. We want to have many houses. We want to have many wives, <laughs> many children, something like this. These are not fullness or desire. What shall have? What shall you have? We shall have. Okay? Abhaicha kata mi. Fullness or desire, we shall. We shall not have so many desire. Okay? We shall not have so many desire. If we have one house enough for us to stay, Okay, if we have uh, such kinds of uh, money, uh, we have enough to live. Uh, you, 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 you should have such kinds of speech. You should also listen. Otherwise, what will happen? Abhijagata, actually the commentary is very many long, uh, long explanations, but I only talk here about one hour, okay? Sandhoti Gata, the talk on contentment. Talk on contentment. You know, contentment, a little bit similar. Okay? You should be satisfied. 
you should be satisfied with the um, contentment. Santoti, Apecha, Gata, many, many, okay? Contentment. You should be satisfied with one house, okay? Also, you should. Talk, okay, you should, you should listen the speech or the talk regarding contentment. Then another one, Pawi Vika Kata. Pawi Vika Kata me regarding solitude or seclusion. There are also three kinds of seclusion, you know, Kaya Viveka secluded, uh, seclusion secluded seclusion from many friends. Many friends, we mean just now the Dhamma friend, should have the Dhamma friend. But when you are practicing meditation, if you have many friends to talk each other, then your concentration will not improve. Okay? Uh, such kinds of association is not suitable for the practice of meditation. Okay? Then that's why we call, you should also avoid talking a lot with your friend, okay? This one, Kaya Uvika. That means when you are practicing meditation, you should stay alone. Don't associate with many uh, other people, okay? When you speak too much, then your concentration will not improve. Then, Chaitya Uvika. When you can practice meditation, staying alone, then your concentration will improve up to, for example, absorption concentration, jhana concentration stage. Then you will be able to stay with meditation objects for long times. When you can stay with meditation objects for long times, then your mind will not associate with defilements, especially with the five hindrances. Then your mind is secluded from Defilement. This one we call Chaita Viveka. Okay? Seclusion of mind from defilement. This one Chaita Viveka. Then Kaya Viveka, Chaita Viveka sa Pichyo Hoti. Without Kaya Viveka, you know, seclusion, seclusion of the many friends, then Chaita Viveka will not happen. Staying alone, practice meditation diligently, then you will attain up to jhana concentration state. When you attain jhana concentration, then you will be able to stay without defilements. Okay, this one we call chaita uvika. Then based on concentration, when you can continue to practice vipassana until you realize, then you will realize nibbana. When you realize nibbana, then your mind will be secluded from Ubadi. Ubadi me kamu badi, okay? Kilesu badi, abhisankaru badi. Then me, you will be able to stay with nibbana object. When you can stay with nibbana objects, your mind will be free from defilement. Okay? Will be free from sensual pleasure, etc. Then will be free from suffering. That's what we call ubadi viveka. Then, you show lessons to such kinds of speech, such kinds of talk. This one we call Pawi Vika Kata. Pawi Vika Kata, talk on solitude. Then Asan Sazeka, Asan Seka Kata. Asan Seka Kata, me, for example, some one, maybe for example, Bekus. They usually associate with many devotees the whole day, then they have no time to practice meditation. The Buddha will never praise such kinds of bhikkhu, okay? <laughs> like this. That's why not to associate with uh, many people or many devotees, then the Buddha also encourages uh, to listen such kinds of speech. Asan Sajeka Kata. There are also many uh, commentary explanations, okay? Then you understand. 
Asan Sajaka Kata, Asan Seka Kata. Dasana Sanseka, you know, Sawana Sanseka, Dasana Sanseka, me associate with the arms. Then after that, when, for example, when they see beautiful objects, they are always thinking about this. When they hear the good sound, they are always thinking about this good sound, something like this. They can, uh, they cannot relinquish, they cannot remove such kinds of objects because of sansekha kata, okay? Then if they don't associate too much with the many people or many things, then there will be the cause for realization of nibbana, okay? Then another one, Uriya Ramba Kata. You should also listen, uh, regard, listen do regarding the practice of meditation diligently. You know, only just talking about business or uh, another things, then it, it will not be able to attain, it will not cause for the realization of Nibbana. That's why you should also listen to the speech regarding the practice of meditation. Okay? Viriya Rambakatha. Viriya Rambakatha. Make your effort for the practice of meditation. Like this. Okay? Then another katha, sila katha, regarding sila. Oh, you should maintain sila, you should not break sila. You should also listen to such kinds of thoughts, such kinds of speech, such kinds of talk. If you cannot listen, then you will forget to maintain the sila, something like this. Because of this reason, such kinds of katha is also necessary to mature the liberation of mind from the defilement. Okay? We multi prepass near. Then another one. Samadhi Katha. Talk regarding Samadhi. You should also listen the talk regarding concentrations. Okay? No need to explain in detail. Penya Katha. Penya Katha. You should also listen the talk regarding Penya, Western, especially Vipassana, Penya. Otherwise, you are not interested to practice meditation, vipassana, vipassana, okay, you, you are not interested, okay? But someone, when you practice vipassana meditation diligently, you will be free from suffering. Your mind will escape from defilement, etc. Then because of this talk, you will be interested in meditation practice. Then such kinds of talk, such kinds of speech is necessary. Then we multi kata. You should also listen to the talk regarding phala. Phala samapati. Oh, phala samapati. We multi kata means the liberation of mind. Uh, this one refer to phala, uh, fruition knowledge. Okay? Then we multi nyana dasna kata. We multi nyana dasna kata means Pachavakana jnana. You should also listen to the talk regarding Pachavakana jnana. Oh, after entering into fusion attainment, oh, they can also reflect. How to reflect? I have a day nirvana. I have a day phalasama, uh, this kind of phalaf. I have removed such kinds of defilement. I still have such kinds of defilement in my mind, something like this or such kinds of reflection is called vimoti jnana, okay? Pichavakana jnana. Or all together, 10 kinds of kata, 10 kinds of speech, okay? 10 kinds of talk, you should also listen. Then if you can listen such 10 kinds of speech, 10 kinds of talks, then your liberation of mind will be mature. Then me, your mind will liberate from the defilement very soon. Okay? Then, number one, Kalyana Meita girlfriend. Number two, Sila Bajus. Number three, 
ten kinds of uh, lesson and two ten kinds of talk. Okay. Then number five. Arada wiriyo wiheradi yesho practice meditation diligently. Okay. Arada wiriyo wiheradi kusalana dhamma na pahanaya. Aku selana damana pahanaya to abandon all unwholesome things, unwholesome next. Aku selak, you know, aku selak. Okay. Aku selana damana ubah sambadaya to acquire wholesome next. Aku selak. Commentary explain. For example, now you are taking precepts, you are practicing meditation. Before you attain jhana concentration, these kinds of kusala are called kama vachara kusala. Then you have a lot of kama vachara kusala. You are making the generosity or dhana. You are maintaining precepts, sila or sila kusala. You are practicing meditation diligently, then bhavana kusala. Oh. Okay? When you practice meditation, when you try and uh, kusala, uh, to accumulate kusala with effort. Effort. What will happen? Then you will be able to abandon a kusala. You will be able to acquire kusala. Then finally, you will attain up to jhana concentration state. Then you can also realize nirvana. Then what will happen? Then you will completely abandon the defilement. You will completely acquire, you will completely obtain the highest kusala. Tama wa dhanla brekamo. For example, when you practice meditation, then you encounter many difficulties during the practice of meditation. What happened? You will never stop. Because you have, your, you have strong intention to realize nirvana or to escape from suffering, to escape from defilement, okay? So your effort, virya, is very firm and very strong. Anakita draw, you will never relinquish the practice of meditation as long as you haven't realized nirvana yet. Kusalesu, tamesu, whatever kusala you accumulate, then you will never stop Okay? Whatever difficulty you experience, you will never stop. As long as you haven't realized Nibbana yet. Or oh, such kinds of virya is necessary for the liberation of mind from the defilement. We multi pre here. Okay? Then virya, strong virya, strong effort is necessary for the liberation of mind from the defilement. Or to liberate your mind from the defilement. Okay? To be free from the defilement. Then we are in brief, we are the practice of meditation. When you practice not only meditation, when you are doing kusala, when you are accumulating kusala, sure, you automatically abandon a kusala, you automatically acquire kusala. Then not only kamavasara kusala, you can also obtain up to rupa vachara kusala, jhana, okay? Jhana kusala, jhana concentration. Yeah, you can also attain arupa vachara kusala, arupa vachara jhana. Then based on this kusala, then you can also continue to practice vipassana, then you can also obtain nibbana. When you realize nibbana, then you will obtain, you will attain Lokotra kusala, mega phala. Then your mind will be, uh, your mind will liberate from the defilement. Okay? So, virya is also one reason for the liberation of mind from the defilement. Okay? Then another one. Punaja, baram, megya, peku, penyawa, hodi, udiyadha, gaminiya, Penya ya samanagato or penya wisdom. What kinds of wisdom it is? 
ဥဒ္ဒိယထခမိနီယပညာရဆမနာကတောဝင်ယူကင်ပရိုက်တိစ်မယ်ဒီတေးရှင်ဒီလီဂျင်တလီအကောဒင်းတူဒဘုဒ
regarding shunnes or desire, regarding sila, samadhi, penya, etc. Sure, now they are listening to the Sarajis, the matter every night. You know, when we were practicing meditation in main center, sometimes we became disappointed with meditation practice. Then sometimes we want to run away. <laughs> what happened? Oh, we listen to the Sarajis Dhamma talk. Then we have energy. Okay. If we practice meditation, sure, we can attain Nibbana. Why? We cannot. We should stop. We should not stop, okay? The practice of meditation. Because of Sarajis Dhamma talk is very good talk for the encouragement of the meditation practice. Okay? Then maybe after 2000, uh, 2010 retreats or not, I, don't, I, I forget. Then to practice meditation for a long time, Saraji suggests uh, not to play the Dhamma talk at night, something like this. Then I prevented Saraji, you should not do like this. <laughs> Sarah, you should play your Dhamma talk. If there's a no your Dhamma talk, we cannot practice meditation. Now we will not be here. <laughs> we will not be empowered. We will run away. Uh, like this. Okay? Because of Sarah's Dhamma talk, we are still practicing meditation. Then maybe then Sarah stopped his idea. That's why a good friend is necessary to listen to the Dhamma talk. If there's a good friend, sure, you will be able to listen to good talk, okay? Then in the same way, if someone has good friend, good company, what will happen? Arada, Wuriyo, Viharaisati, you will be able to practice meditation diligently. Okay, just now I already explained, okay? Then Agusalana, Dhammana, Bahanaya, Kusalana, Dhammana, Ubasambraya. If you practice meditation diligently, if you accumulate Kusala diligently, sure, you will be able to abandon Agusala, you will be able to acquire a lot of Kusala anti super mundane Dhamma, Lakotra, Dhamma, Nepana, okay? In the same way, if you have God friend, you will reach up to Udhyabhyayana stage. Penyawa Bhaisri, you will have the Vipassana knowledge, Vipassana wisdom. Tell me if you had no girlfriend, what will happen? You cannot reach up to Udhyabhyayana stage. If you have girlfriend, if you associate with girlfriend, then you will attain up to Udhyabhyayana stage. After Udhyabhyayana stage, very soon you will realize Nibbana. That's why the Buddha suggested you to practice up to Udhyabhyayana state. Okay? Not only Udhyabhyayana state, after the Udhyabhyayana state, sure, nearly finished the Vipassana state. That's why the meditation teacher will encourage you to practice up to any Vipassana stage without stopping at the Udhyabhyayana stage. Because of this reason, you will liberate from the defilement or you will realize Nibbana. Okay? So, based on these five things, when you practice these five things, then the Buddha continue to talk. You know, Ime tu pensa tu dhamme tu partek thaya sadaro dhamma odri bhavitava. You should continue to practice four things. What are the four things? Asubha bhaveta bharagasa paha naya. Asubha bhaveta bharagasa paha naya. Sometimes, when you are practicing meditation, because of maybe heedlessness, because of carelessness, sometimes, lust may appear in your mind. Raga. Okay? Raga means sensual desire or sensual desire may appear in your mind. At the times, you will not be able to practice your respective meditation with clear mind. Then what should you do? 
The Buddha encourages you to practice Asuba meditation, fullness meditation. Asuba Bhavetabha Ragasa Bahanaya. Asuba meditation should be developed to abandon lust. Okay, to abandon lust. When you have such kinds of mind or such kinds of defilement, to be able to abandon the lust, you should also practice Asupa meditation, fullness meditation. Do you want, I think you will be able to know how to practice Asupa meditation. If you want to know, if you don't know how to practice Asupa meditation, okay, please ask Ujjanaka Bhivansa, he is here. <laughs> Okay, the meta bawe daba bhyaba dasa paha naya. You know, meta bawe daba bhyaba dasa paha naya. Sometimes when you are practicing meditation, when you are accumulating kusala, then hatred may appear in your mind. When dosa appear in your mind, then you cannot practice your respective meditation, especially vipassana meditation. For example, if you are practicing anapana meditation, sure, you will not be able to practice anapana meditation because of hatred, because of dosa. Then you should stop your anapana meditation practice for a while. What should you do? You should try to develop metta meditation. So when you can develop metta meditation, you will be able to remove dosa from your mind. Okay? Then metta bhavi tava bhyabhada sa pahanaya, the Buddha also continue to encourage to develop metta meditation. Yeah. Do you know how to practice metta meditation? Okay, if you don't know, you can ask Venerable Uchanaka Bhivansa. <laughs> okay? Or you can also come to Fautoya Meditation Center. Okay? Saroji is also teaching, we are also teaching. Then another one, anapana sati bhaveta bhavutta kupa chedaya. Anapana meditation should be developed or should be practiced to abandon various kinds of thoughts. Okay, vutta kupa chedaya, various kinds of thoughts me. You know, kama vutta ka, the thoughts regarding sensual desire, sensual pleasure. Then Bhyabhada Vitaka, the thoughts regarding evil. Vihensa Vitaka, the thoughts regarding hame or torturance. Okay, such kinds of thoughts, many various kinds of thoughts. Sometimes you may have the thoughts regarding your business, your family, your children, something like this. Okay, such kinds of thoughts are also uh, maybe Kama Vitaka or Vyabhada Vitaka or Vihensa Vitaka. So to abandon such kinds of various thoughts, you should practice Anapana meditations. Okay? When you can successfully practice Anapana meditation, sure, you will be able to remove such kinds of various thoughts. Then another one. Anisa Tenya Bhavetava Asmi Mana Samukhataya Anisatinya should be uh, the possession of impermanence should be practiced to abandon asami mana. Asami mana me concedes I am. Eh? Concede I am. I am me asami mana samogadaya. You know I am. Asami mana samogadaya mana is concedes. What, what kinds of conceit? I am. I am me, I am beautiful, I am handsome. Oh, this is also mana. I am rich, okay, I am worthy. This is also mana. I am educated person. Oh, what is it? This is also mana. I am, I am, okay? They are always thinking or talking, I am, I am. Because of this reason, they cannot realize Nibbana. So, you should also try to abandon this I am. I am is mana conceit. 
Okay, as a me mana. To be able to abandon this mana, I am, what shall you do? You should try to practice the possession of infirmness. Sabi, Sankara, Anija, everything, every formations are infirmament. So only you just trying to reflect, everything is infirmament. So now you are a human being. After how many years, maybe about 75 or 80, 90 years, then you will pass away. There's no I am. Then you have, okay, a lot of wealth, a lot of houses, a lot of money, etc. Then they will also disappear, okay? As soon as you pass away. Sure, as soon as you pass away, then they are not your belonging. Whose belonging? Huh? Not your belonging. Uh, no other people's belonging. <laughs> okay? Because they will also disappear one day. Okay? So when you pass away, then no beauty, no wealth, and also no education. Everything all disappear, will disappear. Okay? So there's no I am. So you only just pay attention. Everything is impermanence, okay? Every formation is impermanence, impermanence, okay? If you can reflect in this way, sure, you will be able to remove I am's mana, okay? Then when you can discern the position of impermanence, then, you know, another senior santa D. You will be able to know the position of non self, anatta senya. Sure, there's a no I am. Then, if there's a no I am, there's a no self, no soul. Okay? Then you will automatically understand. When you have anatta senya, the position of non self, you will be able to abandon asami mana, the, uh, the concealed I am. Okay? Conceived I am. You will be able to abandon. So the commentary also explains, if someone has anisa tenya, possession of impermanence, then they will also have anatta senya, possession of non-self. If they have possession of nam self, they will also have dukkha senya, possession of suffering. To me, if someone can practice one of the three characteristics, anicca or dukkha or anatta, then they will automatically understand three characteristics together. Okay? Then you will a day nibbana in this very life. Oh, the Buddha talked to Venerable Megiya. What happened? Then, after that, the Buddha also continued to talk to stanza in Dhammapada. You know, the only just Pandana, Sepalan, Satan, this one regarding the mind. Mind is always shaking, mind is always, you know, uh, going here and there, like this. Difficult to maintain. For example, you want to put your mind with the suitable object, but your mind doesn't want to stay with the suitable object. This mind wants to go to opposite object. Okay? Opposite objects. Then, what the simile? For example, when someone uh, pull out the fish from the water, okay, put on the land, what will happen? The fish will jump to, to go to the water again. They, doesn't want to, uh, they don't want to stay in the land. In the same way, you are trying to practice meditation to stay with the good objects. But your mind doesn't want to stay with good objects or meditation objects. Your mind wants to go to sensual pleasure or maybe three kinds of things, okay? To enjoy with the sensual pleasure or to keep 
living beings or to touch us, other beings, something like that. Then me, your mind, want to associate with bad objects. Okay? Then now you are trying to meditate, to stay with good objects for a long time. So how long could you stay with the good objects? <laughs> you understand yourself. Okay? Then the Buddha continued to explain with the two stanzas, two venerable megya. After the end of the stanza, venerable megya became sotapanna. Very easy. Why? At that time, his, you know, his mind already mature. Previously, having matured, that's why the Buddha prevented him not to go to the Mingo group. But because of, you know, the Buddha's Dhamma talk, then he became Sotapanna. Okay? Then, if you wish to attain Nepana, then, in other words, if you wish to make your parami to be mature, then you should also have these five things. You should also try to fulfill these five things. Okay? When you can fulfill these five things, based on these five things, you should continue to develop these four kinds of meditations. Then you will be able to attain Nibbana in this very life uh, by practicing or by following the Venerable Megiya's example. May be able to practice meditation may be able to realize nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. One hour talk, one and a half hour talk. <laughs> okay, so... Have some time for a uh, question. Okay, if okay, you, you can have a uh, question and answer. Anybody, uh, some questions can ask? Anybody? Bante can. Mm. Uh, Bante, uh, can you remind us again how to remove, keep away from the five hindrances when we are meditating? Five hindrances. Uh, and pre, pre question is practice meditation diligently. When, you, <laughs> when your concentration improves further, you will be able to stay with meditation objects for a long time. Okay? Then five hindrances will not appear. For example, we usually teach to the meditators when they are practicing anapana meditation. Sometimes, you know, among these five hindrances, one of the very serious hindrances is sensual desire or sensual desire. This one we call kame chanda niwarana. Okay? Then most of the meditators, especially the beginner, they report, and they, I have a lot of kame chanda nivarana, sensual desire, or attachment to sensual pleasure. So what should I do? I cannot practice anapana meditation well. Then we suggest then, then to stop anapana meditation practice for a while. Okay? Then they should practice, you know, Asuba, Bhavitaba, Rakasa, Paha, Naya. Asuba meditation should be practiced to abandon lust. Okay? Then this me, Kame Chanda Nivarana. Then they should develop, they should practice Asuba meditation. Just now I explained, if you don't know, ask Bande Chanagavi once. <laughs> You only just, for example, if you have already practiced 32 parts of the body, then you can also practice 32 parts of the body. This is also a kind of asupa meditation. Then if you have sensed the very formless cause in the past, you know, paying attention to the repulsiveness of the corpse, you can also practice asupa meditation. Sometimes you may see the skeleton. You can also pay attention to the skeleton, then pay attention to the repulsiveness of the skeleton, then you can also practice asupa meditation. Okay? Then your mind will your mind will liberate from the sensual desire. Okay? Practice, pay attention to this uh, uh, corpse, you know, formless corpse for a long time, then note as repulsive, 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 particular, particular. 
when your mind can focus on this corpse, then sure, the Kamechanda Nivarana will disappear. Especially Yoni So Manasikara. Okay, pay attention to go objects called Yoni So Manasikara. Now you are paying attention to go objects. Previously, your mind paid attention to the sensual pleasure. Because of this reason, this kind of mind appear. Kamechanda Nivarana hindrance, hindrance appear. Then now you are paying attention, you know, opposites objects or good objects, then this sensual desire will disappear. Kame chanda nivarana. Okay? Then Bhyabhada nivarana, another one, evil, hatred. Then you are meditating, but you are getting angry. <laughs> okay? Then what should you do? You cannot practice anapana meditation. But some, those who have uh, some concentration with anapana practice, then they can also remove this dosa, hatred, by practicing anapana meditation. Although they practice anapana meditation, they cannot remove the dosa, hatred. Then they should stop anapana practice for a while. Then they should sense metta to them. Not to them, or maybe generally metta, general metta in this stage. Okay? Me o sabi sata awira hondu abhyabecha hondu aniga hondu suki adana priharandu. Okay, may all beings be free from danger, be free from mental sufferings, be free from physical suffering, be well and happy. When you can radiate metta to all beings, what will happen? Because of metta meditation, your daughter will disappear from your mind. Okay? You are getting angry to some, someone because you are seeing their fault or their offense. Okay? If you see their good behavior or their happiness, something like this, then you will not get angry with those persons. Because of this reason, the Buddha also encourages you to practice Metta meditation. Metta bhavita bha bhyapa dasa bhanaya. Metta meditation should be practiced to abandon hatred, evil. Then another one, sloth and toba. Okay? There are also many things, especially yoni somnasikara. Because of ayoni somnasikara, five hindrances appear. Because of yoni somnasikara, wise attention. Five hindrances disappear. Okay? Then sloth and dopa also in the same way. During the practice of meditation, many meditators experience alle, drowsiness, sleepiness. Then what should they do? Oh, they should, maybe the, there are also many ways. For example, the Buddha uh, talk, Pasalaya Mana Sota, to Venerable Maukalana, to remove the sloth and dopa. There are seven ways. Do you want to listen? <laughs> Another Dhamma <to my> talk. <laughs> huh? Okay. In brief, no? you are practicing Anapana meditation, but your mind was overwhelmed by sloth and topa. At the times, you cannot practice Anapana meditation. Then you should change to the other position, senya. Okay, changing the position. Maybe you can change to Buddha's quality or other, any other meditation objects for some times. Okay, and this one changing position. Then you are Pyong Pei, Sa Chan Dui. Although you change your position, but, uh, you change your mind to the other objects, you still cannot remove your sloth and topa. Then what will happen? You should also reflect. Uh, some kinds of sota that you had learned before. For example, you are learning Abhidhamma, okay, you can also reflect on the Abhidhamma. You are learning Pali Krama, okay, you can also reflect. You are learning some sota, then you should also reflect on those sota, something like this. Then, slot and topa will disappear. Okay, only just reflection is not enough. What should you do? Another one, recite. Okay, recite for example, Patana Hetu Pecho, Aramna Pecho, 
are deeper, 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 etc. Then, because of recitations, Salah and Dhopa will disappear. But don't recite inside the meditation hall. <laughs> because there are many meditators who are meditators. Uh, when you are practicing alone, okay, you can recite at your home, okay? Then, Salah and Dhopa will disappear. Then, another one. Tenya Pyongbe, Sajandwe, Yu Yi Naswali. Oh. Although, although you recite some soap dabs, then you still cannot remove this slot and topa. What shall you do? Eh, you fool your ear. <laughs> like this, okay? You can do like this. A little bit uh, strong. <laughs> then, your tinameda will disappear. Although you do in this way, you still have the tinameda. You cannot solve the problem. What should you do? Huh? Go and wash your face. <laughs> uh, go and wash your face. Then meditate again. Okay? Although you do in this way, you still cannot remove. What should you do? Then you should also pay attention to the light, you know, outside light, for example, sunlight or this, the electric light, something like that, with the open sign. Mm, you should do like this. Again, 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 again. Then Tinameda will disappear. If you have already practiced Aloka Kasina, actually the Buddha referred to Aloka Kasina, <laughs> then you can also practice Aloka Kasina, change to Aloka Kasina meditations, no? Because of Aloka light, bright light, then Tinameda will disappear. Although you solve in this way, you cannot solve. What should you do? <laughs> you can walk, okay? You can walk. Uh, stand and walk. Again, 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 Tinameda will disappear. Altogether, seven ways. If you cannot solve the Tinameda, if you cannot remove this Tinameda by seven ways, what should you do? Go and sleep. <laughs> you cannot do anything. Go and sleep for a while. <laughs> okay? Tina made that. Something like this. Many, uh, maybe, then there's uh, many ways to solve those problems. Maybe Ujjanaka Vivansa will explain later, okay? Don't, don't worry here. Ujjanaka Vivansa is here. Yeah. Odecha Kogocha also in the same way, especially Yoni Somna Sikara, because of Ayoni Somna Sikara, Odecha Kogocha appear, because of Yoni Somna Sikara, Odecha Kogocha will disappear. Okay? Odecha Kogocha. Then, Wichikecha, doubt, also in the same way. Usually, Ayoni Somna Sikara and Yoni Somna Sikara. Mm. Any other, any other question? Then they can add, ask a short one. At the beginning of the talk, Pandey said that the Buddha has three bodies. Mm. The first body is from mm. the enlightenment to the 20 Vasa. What are the other two bodies? One body, I think, there are two ideas. The first body should be 15 years. Then the second body and the third body also should be the same. Then there will be that, uh, 45 wasa or the Buddha with the three bodies. But most of the, you know, teacher have uh, 20 wasa of the Buddha. The first 20 wasa of the Buddha must be the first body. Then for the second body and the third body, how to divide? Okay. Then maybe second body will be 15 and the third body will be 10 altogether 45 okay then there will be three bodies during the 20 was of the buddha after his enlightenment then there was no certain attendance okay venerable ananda became the buddha's attendant after 20 was of the buddha and he passed away or he took he took the brain
ओके फिनिश इसलिए ओके